Hey, what is going on guys? Rulinel coming at you with some Python Challenge. Alright, now, Python Challenge, this is a cool new series I've been working on. Um, it's, it's an online riddle that you can solve with Python and other programming languages, and we're back on track. Alright, so, we just solved the sort of like first or preliminary puzzle, and now we're on this. This thing right here. A picture of a little notepad, I'm thinking, that says uh, K to M, O to Q, and E to G. Uh... I don't know what to do with that, but we might be able to figure something out. If we scroll down here, it says, Everybody thinks twice before solving this. Alright. And uh, here is the text. Uh, we probably have to be converting some stuff through here. So, we're going to want to work with that. And the general tips, alright, it looks like use the hints. They're helpful most of the time. Investigate the data given to you and avoid looking for spoilers. Well, let's see what we can do. I think... And uh, this, is a, this is a guess here. I hope you guys can work with me through this. If we replace all the K's to be an M, all the O's to be a Q, all the E's to be a G in this string, maybe it'll make a bit more sense. Let's go ahead and try this. Uh, I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to create a new file over in my text editor. Create a new file. I'll save this as... Uh, let's see. Where do I want to put this? Probably in Python. Python challenge. No, I don't want to... That has some of my old files in there that I don't really want in there. Uh, how about YouTube? I'll just save it as challenge.py. Alright, that works well for me. And uh, I'm going to make things very, very quick, actually. So, I don't really want any good formatting. I'm just going to make stuff. So, what I want to do, uh, I want to create a new string... It actually has all of the things replaced where K was initially K, it's going to become M, O is going to become Q, E is going to become G, and so on. So let's let's hop over back to this new string, can equal nothing by default for letter in caption if letter is equal to Q new string plus equals M elif and then we can just sort of really very easily loop through all this letter can equal O becomes okay no K K becomes M O becomes Q and elif E becomes G, else new string can equal, well, you can add on the, the letter that we have here. All right, and then we can just go ahead and print out the new string. Now, if I run this, okay, G, F, M, N, C, no, no real luck. We have changed some things. I'm thinking, let's find the first occurrence of K or uh, an E anywhere in these. Oh. Yeah. We know that that's not going to work for us. We know that's not going to work for us at all. Well, let's take a look at the instructions again. K to M, O to Q, and E to G. That might, and I'm thinking that might be sort of like a pattern. Like, like it's shifting the letters a few spaces over in the alphabet. That might be it. We should probably try that. Alright, so, the string module has a list of all the letters. And actually, we could have very easily, without of looping through this, you know what we could have done? We could have just used the replace function on the string to replace any occurrence of like K with an occurrence of M and that sort of thing with all of the others O and Q and, and, and etc. So that's another way of going about that process but we know that process didn't really work out for us. One, no, one, two, there's M so like two spaces over or there's one letter in between that and O, O to Q, O yeah there's P in between that and E there's only one letter in between E and G, and that's F. Okay, so it's going like two spaces over, just about. It changes the position. We can probably work through that. 
let's say for letter in caption well, it's going to look through all of the letters in here well that doesn't really work all that well for us because I'm going to look at my uh, alright if we're looking at only the letters or each each entity or at least each item inside that list when we're looping through it, it doesn't work all that well for us because we want to know the actual position or at least no we don't we don't need we don't even need a position do we because we're only going to be looking through the position for string dot ascii lowercase right we only need to know the position for that array if we're actually going to be looping looking through each letter in the caption string we don't have, we can use for letter and caption so let's let's keep that for letter and caption and we want to know where it is inside our string of letters of the alphabet lowercase we want to know where it is in there so we're going to find that letter and if the found position is equal to negative 1 so if it doesn't find it right if it cuz that will return negative 1 if it doesn't find anything it'll go ahead and say new string can equal well add equal that letter of what we found and then we can go ahead and continue we don't need anything but if we do find something if it is in our in our alphabet then index is going to equal that found position and remember we're adding two to that so there's the actual position there so new string plus equals string dot ascii lowercase with the index and we are going to need a new string for this aren't we new string can equal an empty string to begin with and then when we're done that loop we can go ahead and print out the new string alright let's run this all right, I get an error. String index out of range. All right, so we're trying to get an index. The index is out of the range. Well, what if we had like a letter Z and we're trying to get two places above that? That's obviously not going to work. So, well, we know how many letters are in the alphabet, right? There are 26 letters in the alphabet. And that's going to be the same case with our string.ascii lowercase. So we can very quickly just say if the index is greater than or equal to 26, right, we can go ahead and subtract 26 from that index. All right, now let's try this. Ooh, ooh, we got it. I hope you didn't translate it by hand. That's what computers are for. Doing it in by hand is inefficient, and that's why this text is so long. Using string make trans is recommended. Now apply on the URL. Okay. Well, make trans. What is string make trans? We didn't use that, but let's find out what it is. I'm going to look it up online. String make trans Python. Looks like we got our string module make trans. Return a translation table suitable for passing to translate that will map each character in from into the character the same position in two. From and two must have the same length. So, the way that I understand that is if we actually put in string dot ascii lowercase we run this. This is the new translation that we're going to be working with. So I can go ahead and pass that into make trans. Let's see, string dot make translation. The arguments it takes are from, which would initially be the actual alphabet, lowercase, and then we want to have this new one that we've just worked with because where everything is shifted over two positions what does that give me output not utf8 
So that must give us the table. We can say table can equal string make trans. So translate s table delete all characters from s that are in delete characters of present and then translate the strings using table which must be a 256 character string given to the translation for each character value okay and we just created that 